The bill has its advantages and disadvantages, but one attorney tells NTD that the proposed law has little impact due to Internet archives and media reporting on crimes. Former felons may have their previous convictions and arrest records sealed off from the public, as long as they are not required to register as a sex offender. That's if Governor Gavin Newsom signs the proposed Senate Bill 731 into law. Bill 731 is Jean Cirillo, an attorney and psychologist, told NTD that the bill has both its advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages of Bill 731 is that it doesn't have a record that follows a person for life, thereby preventing them from getting a job, possibly renting a house, uh, getting into certain social groups, even getting into school, getting a trade license. These are all things that get closed off to somebody once they're convicted of a felony. In order for a past felony conviction to be sealed, the defendant would have to meet a set of conditions. This includes completing all incarceration sentences, probation, mandatory supervision, community supervision, and parole. SB 731 also requires a period of four years must have passed without any new convictions. Cirillo says that sealing records can help rehabilitated defendants go into job interviews without having to worry about a mistake they made when they were younger. It can help them in the sense that they go in with a psychological edge. They go in with a different attitude. They're not nervous and afraid. They don't have a secret. They can relate to other people. They can get jobs. Bill co-author Senator Maria Durazo said in a statement last year that, quote, the completion of a prison sentence should have paved the way for a complete return to participate fully in society. But for millions of Californians, their conviction history turns into a lifelong sentence of limited access to employment, housing, education, and ability to live a full, normal life and provide for their families. However, the bill has been met with the concerns about the safety of the community. Well, the disadvantage that's been brought up by many people in opposition is the danger to the community of having somebody next door to them or in their class next to them, working with them as a co-worker or an employee that has a criminal record that they don't know about. There's no forewarning, which there would be if they hired them with the record. She says even if a record is sealed, the information will still be easily available for doing a search on the Internet. Today, especially with Google, with uh, background checks that people can get for 1099, um, with anything on the Internet that's an archive news story, once you're on there as having done something criminal, it's very hard to get it off. The bill states that registered sex offenders will not be able to have their records sealed regardless of how many years have passed since conviction. Cirillo also shared the first-hand experience as an attorney regarding comments and questions from prior convicted felons. I've had plenty of people that have asked me something as an attorney, and it concerns me a bit that they have had a gun permit or for whatever reason they want to buy a gun. They say that this criminal record from 10 years ago comes up and how can they either get it sealed or expunged or how can they get the gun anyway? And if that's the main concern rather than legitimate employment, that could be a problem if the record is sealed and somebody can't find it doing a check for a gun license. SB 731 is now headed to Governor Newsom for his final decision to veto or assign into law.